Taking a soil sample for verticillium wilt. Verticillium wilt is a serious threat to soil grown strawberries. The presence of verticillium in the soil can be detected and measured. The results show the need to sterilise the soil or not. You can sample at any time of year. The disease spores are spread in intense isolated patches across a field. There are no surface clues of its distribution in advance of cropping. Use a grid pattern when sampling for verticillium, not the usual zigzag or W pattern. It is essential the sample is taken slowly and methodically. This improves the collection of the isolated spore distribution. If there is a difference in cropping history across the field, subdivide the area for separate analysis. Land previously cropped with potatoes, hops, flax and linseed commonly contain verticillium spores. Ideally, a test area would not exceed 2 hectares per sample. Walk a grid shape of 10 by 20 metres, sampling once for each square. This gives a very even sample collection. Collect at least 50 cores per hectare to a depth of 20 centimetres. Always take a complete core to the correct depth. This may not be easy if the soil is hard and dry, in which case it is better to wait for adequate rain to soften the profile. Collect the cores in a plastic bucket and mix thoroughly to achieve a well-blended sample before filling the sample bag. A sample weight of about 2 kilograms of soil is needed for analysis. This is much more than you would require for a soil mineral analysis. Label the bag immediately with a waterproof marker pen. It is very easy to confuse soil samples when collecting more than one. Collecting a sample carefully takes time, so avoid trouble with delivery and processing and use clear labelling, secure packing and the correctly completed paperwork for the laboratory. A soil sample for verticillium is stable and should be delivered within a week to the laboratory.